Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how to earn the Treasures of the Emerald Dream achievement which will give you this awesome transmog piece. I will also briefly talk about the meta achievement called Dream On at the end of the video so if you're interested in that make sure to stay till the end. To complete the first achievement you need to loot 10 treasures in the Emerald Dream. Now the awesome thing is that each of these treasures will actually give you something unique such as a transmog piece, a dream seed or reputation with the new faction. If anything changes, I'll make sure to let you know in the pinned comment below, so always make sure to check that. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the first treasure. If you want to obtain the Branch of Ashmane, you first need to find the Mark of Ashmane and the Emerald Dream. I suggest going into this cave because there are a bunch of marks that you can click on to get the 1 minute buff that you need. Once you have the buff, make your way to the statue of the Ashen Panther. Once you are in front of the statue, click on it and you should see a chest spawn that you need to loot in order to get the staff. If you want to obtain this staff, which is a different color version of another staff found in Extremis, you will need to locate a Mark of Aviana in the Emerald Dream. I recommend going to this place which is very close to the statue. Once you click on it, mount up and make your way to the other side of the tree and interact with the statue. Once you've done that, a chest will spawn behind you on one of the stones that you need to loot in order to get the staff. If you want to obtain the Claw of Logash, you need to find the Mark of Goldrin in the Emerald Dream. I suggest flying to this location and clicking on the mark located on the stone. Once you click on it, you will get a 1 minute buff called Wolf Spirit Guardian. As soon as you have the buff, mount up and make your way into this cave. Once you're inside of the cave, click on the statue of the Great Wolf. Once you click on it, a chest will spawn on the left side that you need to loot in order to get the transmog. If you want to get the Visage of Ursul, you first need to find the Mark of Ursul, and you can find it at this location. Once you click on it, you will get a 1 minute buff, and once you have it, mount up and make your way to this statue. However, if you are a druid, you will be able to interact with the statue without the buff. You can simply shapeshift into your bear form and interact with it. It also looks like the Pandarians will be able to interact with the statue without the mark, so give it a try. Once you click on the statue, a chest will spawn that you need to loot in order to get the transmog. To loot the Odd Burl treasure, which contains a plump dream seed along with 200 reputation, head over to this location and fly all the way up to the top of the tree to loot the treasure. To get the Owl Post toy and 200 reputation, you need to loot the hidden Munkin stash located right here. Simply fly on top of the floating tree and loot the stash. To loot the Crystalline Glow Blossom, make your way to this location. Once you are there, I would suggest mounting up on a traditional mount and then flying up to the tree, because the Glow Blossom is hanging from the branch. And once you loot it, you will receive a gigantic Dream Seed. To get the Pine Shrew Cache, fly to this location and loot the cache placed on the ground. Looting it will give you a toy called Fast Growing Seed. Getting the Magical Bloom is a bit more special. Once you make your way to this location, you will see an NPC called Laughing Puddling. You want to approach the NPC and attack it to make it run away. Just keep following the NPC until you can loot the treasure. Looting it will give you a gigantic Dream Seed and 200 reputation. To obtain Triple Snatch Rowing Throw, head to this location in the Emerald Dream. Once you arrive, click on the Travel Snatcher NPC on top of the floating tree. When you click on it, the bird will fly away. Just be sure to chase after it and repeat the process two more times before finally collecting the treasure. And yeah, that's all of the 10 treasures available. If you have all of them, you should have your brand new transmog. Now I'm gonna briefly explain the other things you need in order to complete the meta achievement. First, you need to explore the Emerald Dream. Next, complete a Super Bloom at Epic Bloom quality, which is the bar shown at the top of your screen while you are doing the Super Bloom. Then we have the Dream of Seeds, which requires you to contribute a seed at each of the Emerald Bounty locations. Keep in mind that the Whisper Bloom Sapling is the correct location, but it seems to only spawn at times like 150, 250, 350 and so on. I'm not sure if that's on purpose or if that's something they're gonna fix at some point. Again, make sure to check the pinned comment for that. Now if you want a good add-on for Emerald Bounties, check out Plumper because it's an amazing add-on made by Peter. He's an awesome, awesome add-on developer. I will leave the coordinates to the Emerald Bounties in the description below that somebody wrote in the wowhead comments, so shout out to you. 
Moving on, there is the Defenders of the Dream, which requires you to complete the storyline, which means you just need to complete all six chapters of the campaign. Last but not least, we have the Adventurers of the Emerald Dream, which requires you to complete 10 special encounters in the dream. Once you've completed the entire meta achievement, you will receive the Forest Lore's Antlers transmog. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this guide useful, and if you did, please make sure to leave a comment down below because it helps me out a ton. Anyways, thank you once again for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. Take care.